You were running from what, you may ask? Well, you did steal $1,000 from a demon named Carlos. He wasn't fairly happy and started to chase you. Good thing you were quicker than him. You moved swiftly through the crowds of demons as your tail moved in the same movement. You glanced back for a moment and couldn't see him in sight. You smiled and ran into something or someone. You little shit, give me back my money. Carlos growled as, growled at you, picking picking you up by your shirt collar. Your ears went down as you slowly chuckled. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you caught up with me with those legs. You smiled weakly. Bitch, if you don't give me back my money, I will kill you. He growled, lifting up his fist by your face. Good luck with that, bud, but I don't think you can kill a fly with those hands, but your look sure can. He smiled at him. <laughs> Giving him a gentle pat on his cheek, he glared at you and growled darkly. You asked for it, he said, smiling a bit. He was about to punch you when something smacked his face, causing him to let go. You fell on the ground with a thud, glancing around, trying to figure out what happened. He looked at Carlos, and he was rubbing his face when a red ball rolled up next to him. He looked closer and realized it was a bomb. He smirked at Carlos before it exploded. When the smoke cleared, he was coughing and laying on the ground. Next time, pick on someone your own size, shithead. Someone said. You could tell it was a female voice and noticed the lady walked up to him holding another bomb. He looked up at the lady, noticing she only had one eye, which he thought was pretty cool. She glanced at you, smiling. What's your name? She asked, walking up to you. It's Wyan. What's yours? You smiled at her, getting up. It's Cherry Bomb. She smirked at you. You blushed a bit, noticing and noticed her tail was wagging. Thanks for the help. You giggled lightly. Anytime, chicka tit. She smiled and finger gunned you. You blushed again and smiled lightly. You guys talked for a bit, and you guys had a lot in common. You enjoyed talking with her. You could say you got a crush on her. Thanks again for the help, Cherry. You smiled at her. Anytime, just call me if you need any help. She smiled at you and handed her a slip of paper with her number on it. When you had grabbed it, your fingertips touched and felt a chill down your spine. You tucked nervously and blushed. Looking up, you noticed that she was blushing too. You stood in silence for a moment. Well, I should get going, you said. She nodded and sighed. Then you quickly kissed her cheek before running off. Call you! You yelled and disappeared into the night like the raccoon you are. A while, a cherry smiled and blushed waving goodbye. Please do, she whispered. Hey guys, this was written by Unfortunately Weird on Wattpad. Unfortunately weird, if you are, if you're out there, love your love your fanfics. You are amazing. And if you want me to take this down, please put in the comments. And if you guys want me to do more Husband Hotel fanfics or audios, then comment a character.